Good evening, everyone. Hello. How many people I have? I have only Jessica, Yvette, Ivan, Joanna, Jenny, Carlos. Very good. Ivan, your full name, okay? You need to put your full name. Okay. Okay, Yvette, full name. Ya saben dónde cambiarlo, arribita, right? Okay, how are you today? Good? So, so. We are going to start working today, right, with the second class. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Cómo se sienten después del primer día? Muy bien, muy mal, perdidos. ¿Cómo les fue con las tareas? Cuéntenme. ¿Cómo les fue con las tareas? Muy bien. Okay. Muy bien. Nos ¿Tuvieron fue algún problema? Okay. ¿Tuvieron algún problema con las tareas? No. ¿No? No. no. Todo bien. Por el momento no. Ok. <ríe> ok. I saw in the morning. Ya en la tarde ya no pude identificar muy bien. Pero en la mañana. Right. I saw that there was some information there from the answers that you were given. La respuesta que cada uno estaba dando estaban ya ahí. Así que muy bien. Muchas gracias. Vamos a seguir revisando eso. So, let's go ahead and start with our class. Right, we are going to start. Yes? Yes? Eh, solo quiero comentar algo. Aquí, Comente donde algo. Yo, aquí en mi trabajo ahorita está cayendo una fuerte tormenta. Qué rico. Ajá. Y posiblemente yo pueda que pierda la conexión o pueda que se vaya la luz, entonces no pueda que me quede oscura, entonces, pero igual eh, estoy conectándome por medio de mis datos del teléfono. Okay. Así que si en el dado momento se va la luz, yo voy a confirmar hoy. Ok, perfecto. Okay, perfecto. perfecto. Entonces esperamos que no pase. Eh, que solo sea la bulla de la lluvia. All right, we're going to start here with the class that we have from yesterday, right? We're going to do some activities here and I am going to ask you a few questions as well. All right, but first, primero que todo, let's try to remember what we did yesterday. ¿Qué hicimos ayer? What do we do yesterday? ¿Qué hicimos ayer? ¿Quién se recuerda? Nadie? A saber qué hicimos. What did we do yesterday? Uh, el uso del verbo be. We use the verb be. Okay, we use the verb be. Excellent. We use the verb be. What else? Aprendimos Estuvimos viendo. Relaciones también. Okay, we created sentences. And then, what did you say, Claudia? Claudia? Estuvimos nos preguntando nuestro primer nombre, nuestro segundo nombre, nuestro apellido. Estuvimos viendo oraciones afirmativas y la forma contractada. Ok, very good. How can I ask my name? ¿Cómo puedo preguntar mi nombre o el nombre de alguien más? Con Julio Carlos. What's the question that we make? Uh, what's your name? What's your name, uh, Elizabeth? What's your name? What's your name? It is Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. My name is Iris. Iris. Okay, my name is Iris. Very good. ¿Cómo pregunto el apellido? Hello, Iris. Mm -hmm. It What's is, your last name? What's your last name? What's your last name, Roberto? Carlos Roberto, what's your last name? My last name is Garcia. My last name is Garcia. Very good. Eh, ¿Cómo pregunto el nombre, el segundo nombre? Iván. Um, was 
baju Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. How can I ask that, Joanna? The second name. How do you ask? No se preocupen si se les olvida. Es normal. Apenas llevamos dos horas de estar pendiente de esto. Joanna. ¿Cómo pregunto el segundo nombre? Yes. Who remembers? Who remembers? ¿Quién se acuerda? Estoy hablando. Joana, no se escucha bien. Sálgase de la clase y vuelve a entrar, Joana. How can I ask my, mi segundo nombre? ¿Quién se recuerda? Vilma, ¿cómo pregunto mi segundo nombre? ¿Miren sus notas? ¿Miren sus notas de clase? What's your middle name? What's your middle name? Excellent. What's your middle name? What's your middle name, Jenny? Martínez. Martínez, very good. Martínez is not good because middle name is el nombre. El segundo. Es, es Carolina. Carolina. I'm sorry. What's that again? What is your middle name again? Mire sus notas. ¿Qué significa? I'm sorry. What's your middle name again? ¿Me puedes repetir tu nombre? Exacto. Tu apellido. Exacto. Very good. ¿Me puedes repetir tu nombre? ¿Me puedes repetir tu apellido? Right. That is correct. That is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, now, let me go ahead and change here. Bueno, vamos a, ya, hay, ya hay bastantes aquí en la clase. Vamos a pasar asistencia. Por favor, enciendan sus cámaras. Recuérdense que es uno de los requisitos de Insafor tener nuestras cámaras encendidas durante la clase. Let's start with... Let's start here with Ana Daisy Fuentes de Villegas. Very good. Thank you so much. Brenda Iris Escanilla Pérez. Brenda Iris. No, ok. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. I'm present here, teacher. Carolina Yamilet Hernández Lata Verde. Claudia Ivette Samayor Castro. Hola. Hola. Hoy sí. Denis sí. Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Present teacher. Okay. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortez. Emerson Adalberto. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mengiva. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Elías. Jessica Rosmerio Almedo Fuentes. Present. Present. Johalmo Alexis Oyo Ochoa Rivera. Johalmo Alexis. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present. Ok, thank you. Karina Melissa Estrada Aldana. Presente. Oh, thank you. Very good. Milton Linares Molina. Milton Linares Molina. Nelson Iván Alfaro Flores. Present. Thank you. Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Present. Samuel Antonio Valencia.
Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Very good, very good. So now we are going to go ahead and practice here, right, with the class. Okay. We're going to continue with the class here, right? Ya recordamos lo que trabajamos ayer del what's your name, what's your last name. I want you to tell me right now and look at my computer okay. what we're going to do, okay? Let me show you here. Encendan su camarita, por favor. Encendan su cámara. Estoy hablando. Joana, usted dijo hola, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. So, we're going to continue here with National English for Work Program. Right? Remember, the competencies are four. Right? Talk about what I do at my workplace and to say my occupation. Number two, talk about what me and other people do in different workplaces and say our occupation. Number three, ask others about their names and their occupation in their workplace. Provide and request the spelling of names, last name, and other information. Now, second activity that we're going to do, examples with the verb be. Claudia and Ivan, they mentioned that we work with the verb be yesterday, right? We'll, you are going to write your examples with the verb be. The first example is going to be affirmative. Number one, affirmative. Number two, affirmative, contracted. Sorry. Number three is going to be negative. Number four, negative, contracted, in two forms, the two options, okay? The two options that we have. Now, you are going to do this activity right now. You are going to write your examples, right? Usted va a escribir sus ejemplos based on what we practiced yesterday, right? That's what we're going to do. Please use your notebook to do this activity. We are going to do this individually. Now, for, the, for each of these activities that we're going to do, each of these sentences, right? If I have the examples of the verb be, what are the subjects that we use in the verb be? Jessica? What are the subjects that I used? Yesterday I mentioned four subjects, I guess. What are the subjects that I used? Jessica Rosemary? I, you. Uh -huh. I, you, you. He, he, she, she, it, it. Very good. Very good. So we practice five. Very good. Subjects I, you, he, she, it. And we're going to use the verb be. Okay. We are using the verb be. Now, do we understand what we're going to do? ¿Entiendo lo que vamos a trabajar en estos momentos? Yes. Is it clear? You, you, all of you, all of you, are going to write examples with the verb be. Okay. Ustedes van a escribir ejemplos con el verbo to be. Con base en lo que vimos ayer en clase. Okay. Ustedes me dijeron que estaba fácil. Así que vamos ahora. Right. Please 
take notes of the information that you can see on the screen. Right? Vamos a trabajar de forma individual. Y luego vamos a compartir los, los ejemplos que tenemos. Todos pueden ver la, la, la pantalla, ¿verdad? Yes, ok, very good. Una de cada una. Una de cada una, exacto. Pueden ocupar cualquier sujeto, no importa. Traten de usar uno distinto en cada una. Ayer, ayer practicamos vocabulario nuevo. Right? What was the vocabulary we practiced, Nelson? We put some pictures. ¿Se recuerda, Nelson? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué vocabulario aprendimos ayer? Profesiones. ¿Ah? ¿Qué profesiones aprendimos? Floor manager. Floor manager, ajá. Uh -huh. What else? Engineer. Secretary, Engineer, okay, secretary. Driver, very good, very good. Excellent. So that's what we did yesterday. Pueden utilizar ese vocabulario también. Thank you, Nelson. Tell me if you have questions. Pueden decirme si tienen alguna pregunta. Si se sienten tímidos y me quieren preguntar, lo pueden hacer por el chat. Solo le dan clic ahí a mi nombre y me lo mandan directamente a mí. Ok, no hay ningún problema. We're going to have five minutes to write this sentence. Cinco minutos para escribirlo. Vamos, chicos, si ustedes pueden. Finish. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Oops, veamos, acá hay muchas, muchas preguntas. No, no, no. Okay. ¿Dónde está Carolina? ¿Dónde está Carolina? Veo que Carolina ya está conectada, pero no sé con quién está conectada. Permítanme un segundo, chicos. Finish. Okay, very good. In two more minutes, we're going to start sharing. Finish. Very good. Todos terminaron? Did everyone finish? Yes? Okay. Now, now we are going to look, we're going to share the answers that you have. Okay? You are going to check the answers that your classmates have. We are going to work in pairs. Okay? We are going to work in pairs. You are going to check your classmates' information. For example, if I work with Johanna, right, I would say, Johanna, these are my sentences, okay? And then Johanna is going to read to me, okay? So we are going to share the sentence. 
Vamos a compartir la información que tenemos. Okay. We are going to share the sentence. Yes, Dennis? Lo siento por error, la me equivoqué, disculpe. Mm -hmm. okay, 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 okay. Now, let's go ahead and start uh, working in groups. Vamos a, recuerden, vamos a trabajar en equipo. Let's see, we have 14 participants. Vamos a trabajar en parejas en estos momentos. Please select the button there, right? Daisy, ponga su nombre completo, por favor. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go. Please click on the button there so you can be with your group. Vamos a compartir la información que tenemos con nuestros compañeros. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Vamos, 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 let's go. Please click there. Ivan Ernesto, please select the group, Ivan. Ivan. Teacher, creo que una, una compañera creo que la sacó la plataforma, o no sé si se escribió. Ah, ok. okay. Yo le envié a otro grupo, sí. Es que una compañera estaba sola. Okay. Bueno, Nelson, si quieres comienzo. Bueno, claro. la, la oración afirmativa que yo hice es, you are a marketing manager. You are a marketing manager. Eh, la afirmativa contractada y la afirmativa contractada un señor eh, perdón la última sí, señor. ok vaya si no van a agregar a alguien más, pero, pero si quieres voy con las negativas. Yes. Dice, Comparta la información que se tiene con él solamente. Okay. Ah, ok. okay. Eh, la oración negativa que hice es He is not a Salvadorian. Y la contractada es It Isn't a pupusa. It isn't a pupusa, exactly. It is a baleada. Okay. La estudia es eso. La negativa es. I am not a doctor. Y la negativa contractada. It's not. It's not my homework. Okay. No sé si tienes la negativa que se puede hacer de dos formas, como vamos a decir. Puede contractar de dos formas. Sí, pero no, no tengo aquí.
Vale, ya usamos it isn't. Vea. La que no hemos usado es it's not. Por it is not, ok. Tenemos un minuto. ¿Ya lo utilizaron esos? It's not a... La primera contracción, la primera negativa contractada que yo te dije, Nelson, es it isn't a pupusa. Y con el otro tipo de, contra, de contracción es it, it's not a dog. It's not a dog. Lo que... No sé si te sirve el ejemplo. It's not a dog. Uh -huh. Ok, yo estoy listo. Okay, very good, very good. Now, uh, before we continue, guys, antes que continuemos, recuérdense que el link que vamos a utilizar para las clases va a ser el mismo link, okay? Siempre vamos a utilizar el mismo link para conectarnos. No, no vamos a cambiar el link todos los días. Siempre vamos a utilizar el mismo. Así que siempre va a estar al, eh, el link ahí en el chat, ¿verdad? De la clase. Si alguien no puede entrar, Escribe rápido el chat de WhatsApp que no tiene el link correcto y se lo enviamos rápidamente, ¿ok? Para que ustedes se puedan integrar a la clase a la hora correspondiente. Porque el link que utilizamos es exactamente el mismo en, toda, en, en todas las clases, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso a veces se lo guardan de, en su dispositivo. Ahora, eh, now that we have shared this, did you share the answers? Yes, compartieron las, las, sus, sus respuestas. Ok. Yes. Buenas todas, todo perfecto, todo nice. Very good. So, so. Yes. Yes, everything very good. good. Very good. Excellent. So, I am going to ask you right now for one example. Ok. One example. Uno de los ejemplos que han creado. Ok. Let me share here with examples with the verb B. Tell me, please, let me see the list of students, right? Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Tell me one example with affirmative. Verb B, affirmative. She is a nurse. What? She is a nurse. She is a nurse. Very good. She is a nurse. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. Now... Tell me an example here with affirmative Claudia Ivette. It's a cat. It's a cat, okay. Let me see here. It's a cat. Very good. It is a cat. It is a cat. Okay. Let me put the example. So I'm going to write some of the examples. She is a nurse. It is a cat. Okay, very good. Daisy, tell me an example with affirmative contracted. Affirmative contracted. She's a nurse. She's a nurse. Excellent job. She's a nurse. Very good. She's a nurse. It is. Tell me an example with affirmative contracted. You're a teacher. 
You're a teacher. Yes, I am. Okay. You're a teacher. Very good. Tell me there, Ivan Ernesto, an example of um, negative. Negative. I am not an engineer. Okay. I am not an engineer. Very good. I am not an engineer. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Jessica, negative. Jessica Rosemary? She is not a drug drive. She's not a truck drive. Driver. Repeat. Driver. Driver. Truck driver. Okay, very good. Julio, give me an example of negative contracted. It isn't a pupusa. Okay, it isn't a pupusa. Very good. It isn't a pupusa. Very good. Johanna, negative contracted. Johanna Beatriz Orellana. She is an a nurse. She isn't a nurse. Okay, yeah. She isn't a nurse. Ah, ustedes trabajan juntos, ¿verdad? She isn't a nurse. Very good. Eh, Karina Melissa. Thank you, Johanna. Give me an, an affirmative. An affirmative sentence. She is an accountant. She is an accountant. Who is accountant? Contador. Contador or contadora, okay? She is an accountant. Very good, very good. Uh, let's see here. Nelson Ivan, affirmative. He is my father. He is my father, okay? He is my father. Very good, Nelson. Ninia, negative. She is not a floor manager. She is not a floor manager. Floor. Repeat, floor manager. Floor manager. Very good. Vilma Beatriz, negative. Lucy is not an engineer. Okay, Lucy is not an engineer. Very good, excellent job. And Jenny Carolina? Sí. Give me one example of negative contracted. Negative. Yes. You aren't a floor manager. You aren't a floor manager. Okay, very good. You aren't, you aren't, aren't a floor manager. No, I am not. I am a teacher. Very good. Excellent. Look at a lot of examples right, that we have here. Right? We have a lot of examples in this exercise, right? Do you have a question about the examples? Tienen preguntas acerca de los ejemplos? Preguntas? No hay preguntas acerca de los ejemplos? No, teacher. No? Okay. No. Let's go ahead and keep practicing that. We are going to do the next practice here. It says, Complete the following information about three different people and write extra information using a negative statement, okay? For example, we're going to do here, this is an exercise from the book, right? In the book it says, name, what is the question that you ask for the name? You're going to ask, what's your name? What's your full name? 
What's your last name? Si quieren tener todo el nombre de un solo completo, vamos a preguntar. What's your full name? My full name is Silvia Maricela. What's your full name? My full name is Nelson Iván Alfaro. My full name is Karina Melissa Estrada Aldán. Right? But if we ask just for the name, we say Karina. Oh, Karina, what's your last name? My last name is Estrada. Right? Then, right, we are going to ask for occupation here. Occupation. For occupation, we have two questions. The first one is, what do you do? Sylvia, what do you do? I am a teacher. Okay, I am a teacher. What do you do, Ivan? Uh, assistant. I am an assistant. Repeat. Uh, yes, I am an assistant. An assistant, very good. What do you do, Joanna? I'm a secretary. I'm a secretary, okay, very good. What do you do, Nimian? Uh, I am assistant. I am an assistant. Okay, an assistant. Very good. I am an assistant. Very good. What do you do? Let me see here. What do you do, Julio Carlos? I am a marketing manager. I am a marketing manager. Okay, very good. So there we have different options or we can ask, what's your occupation? I am a teacher. I am a teacher. So it's the same. What's your occupation, Julio Carlos? I am a marketing manager. What's your occupation, um, Joanna? I am a secretary. Do we understand that part? ¿Se entiende esa parte? ¿Se entiende qué, qué estamos preguntando? Necesito que me contesten porque si no, no hay manera que yo sepa. Yes, I understand. Okay, thank yes. you so much. Okay, very good. Uh, in the other, and when we say not, for example, we can put this in in the middle. Let's put it in the middle here. Let's put it in the middle. When we ask not. Right? For example, I can ask Joanna, are you a truck diver? No, I am. No? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, very good. No, I am not. Nimian, are you a student? I am not an I am student. No, I am not a student. Very good, Nimian, very good. Claudia, are you a singer? Like Shakira. No, I am not. Okay, are you an assistant? No, I am not. I am a teacher. Okay, so very good. I am a teacher. So we put there the different information here. So that's what we're going to do right now. In groups, right? Eso ya lo tiene. Solo vamos a copiar las preguntas que vamos a utilizar para llenar. Name. Okay. La parte del not. Eso solo para practicar los negativos y los positivos. Okay. And the last one is, what do you do? Right. So what do you do, Claudia? What do you do, Claudia? I am a teacher. I am a teacher. So I'm going to put here, my name, Claudia. All right. What's your last name, Claudia? My last name is um, Samayoa. Samayoa, very good. Okay, she says that she is not a singer. She is not 
a singer. She is a teacher. Okay. Yo tengo esta información porque yo se la pregunté a Claudia. ¿Correcto? Veamos con otra persona. Eh, Julio. What's your name? My name is Julio. Okay, Julio. Okay, very good. What's your last name? My last name is Martinez. Martinez. Very good. Eh, are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. Are you a politician? Like Nayib? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, are you... Are you, uh, let's see, a teacher? No, I'm okay. not. Okay. I'm not what, a teacher. What do you do? I am a marketing manager. Okay. He is a marketing manager. En here, le hice tres preguntas. Puedes coger la respuesta de una para no escribirlas todas. Right? He is not a politician. He is not a politician. He is a marketing manager. Okay? ¿Se entiende qué que, que es lo que vamos a preguntar en cada uno de ellos? What is a yes. politician? A politician is like all the people in the country that they are in the government. Todos los que están en el gobierno, los políticos, politician. Político, politician. Okay? Now, okay. ¿se, ¿se entiende qué vamos a hacer? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. Joanna says yes, very good. Now, Claudia and Julio, you are going to invent your information. Ustedes van a inventar su información porque ya les usé a ustedes dos de ejemplo. Ok, entonces van a hacer algo más ahorita. Ok, invéntese su nombre, su información. Here, copy the questions, please. Copien las preguntas que van a utilizar. Estos son ejemplos. Are you a, puedo preguntar, are you a truck driver? Are you an engineer? Are you a teacher? Are you a, a mother? Hay right? muchas cosas que yo puedo poner acá. ¿Ok? Estos solo son ejemplos. Las preguntas del name y el occupation sí son las que podríamos hacer. ¿Ok? Copie las preguntas y vamos a recolectar. We are going to collect information about two people. ¿Ok? Vamos a trabajar en equipo de tres para colectar la información de esas personas, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende que vamos a trabajar en los equipos en estos momentos? Yes. Yes, ok, very good, very good. Eh, ¿Tomaron un screenshot yes. del ejercicio? ¿Apuntaron el ejercicio, yes. el ejemplo? Sí, ok, yes. very good. Yes. Entonces, comencemos. Let's start right now. Hello, Heriberto. Hello. I'm going to recreate the group. Give me one moment. Okay, there we are. Please select your group right now. You're going to be with, I think, three people in each group. Right? Three different people. So, hay dos equipos de dos, y los demás son de tres. Okay? So, let's start working together. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Please select your group. Ivan Ernesto, please select your meeting. Uh. 
tuve problemas con la conexión. Voy a entrar de regreso. Ok. Ok. Este, ajá, uh -huh. ahora sí. Pues sí. Eh, what is your name? My name is Nelson. What is your last name? My name. Perdón. Enciéndela, por favor. My last name is Alfaro. Uh, you are a doctor. I mean, no, I don't know. You are a policeman. Mm, I know. Uh, what do you do? I am assistant. Huh? Assistant. Supervisor. Ah, super, super, very. Ok, este. Ahora le preguntamos a. Carolina. Carolina. Si quiero, se pregunta en el. Bueno. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? My name is Caroline. Caroline. Carolina. What is your middle name? What? What is your middle name? Did you feel it? Yes. yes. Can I listen to you? I want to listen. Yes. Okay, Vilma and Carlos. Hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Le tengo que decir las respuestas o no. las preguntas le hago a él. Ask the questions and he will give the answer. Quiero oír qué es lo que preguntan. What's your name? My name Carlos. is Carlos. Uh -huh. What's mm -hmm. your last name? My last name is Garcia. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. What do you do? I am a back office executive. Okay, executive. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Only that? Okay, no. Please, uh, Karina, can you please practice with Carlos? What's your name? My name is Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank Are you. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. Are you a student? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm a student English. <laughs> Okay. And now, what do you do? Uh, right now, I am a back office executive. Right, teacher? <laughs> back office executive, yes. Executive, exactly. okay. Very good. What's your last name? My last name is Garcia. Very good. So in there, Karina, name, Carlos Garcia. No, for example, he is not a doctor. Right. And in the last part, he is a back office executive. Right. Very good. Very good. Okay, so we're going to go and practice with the others. I'll right. see you in a moment. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I am a marketing manager. Pero aquí voy a decir otra cosa. Voy a decir, I am... Um, 
engineer. Okay. Okay, I am an engineer. Excellent, excellent. Did you finish? Finish, yeah. Yes, okay, very good. Let's go then so we can practice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Vamos, vamos. Yeah. Okay. I would like to listen to some of your practices. Maybe not todas, maybe not everyone, but some of them. Let's see here. Let's listen to Heriberto. Heriberto, who was your partner? Who was with you in the group? Uh, in my group was uh, Ninian and Jessica. Okay, please ask Nimian. Okay. Nimian, what's your full name? Um, my full name is Nimian Elizabeth Leon de Estrada. Okay, Nimian, are you a police? Uh, I am no, not a police. Okay, what do you do? Um, I am an assistant. Okay, perfect. I am an assistant. Okay, very good. Nimia, very good. Heriberto, very good job. Let's listen. Um, Nimia, choose another person. Choose another classmate. Oh. ¿Qué significa esa frase Jessica. ayer? Jessica, very good, Nimian, excellent. Jessica, pues Jessica estaba con usted. Ok, Jessica, yes. <laughs> okay. Jessica, practice with Vilma. You ask the questions and Vilma, you're going to answer. Las preguntas eran las mismas, pero entonces no tendríamos problemas. Vamos a ver. Jessica. Yes, sir. Okay, Vilma, what's your full name? My full name is Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Okay, Vilma, are you a doctor? I know a doctor. And what do you do? I am a contact. Okay. Very good, very good. Excellent job, Jessica and Vilma. Eh, Jessica, choose another classmate. No puede ser Heriberto, no puede ser Vilma, no puede ser Nimia. Ok, a Karina. Karina. Ok, Karina, you are going to ask Carolina. Ok, Carolina y Emilet. So let's start, Karina. Okay. What's your name? Open your microphone. Open your microphone. What's your full name? No, ella le está preguntando a usted. Ah, perdón. Ok, Karina. What's your name? What's your name? Yes. yes. My name is Carolina. Uh -huh. I... Are you a doctor? Yeah. Casi no escucho. Are you a doctor? Are you? Okay. A doctor? Right. Say, uh, she said, are you a doctor? Uh, uh, not, not, not do, not John. No, doctor. I'm not. Not and no. Okay. No, I'm not. Very good. Uh -huh. No, I'm a doctor. A doctor. Very good. What do you do, Carolina? What do you do, Carolina? What do you do? Mm -hmm. 
uh, eats. Okay, for example, don't worry, don't worry. Listen to me. Escucha mm -hmm. el ejemplo. Um, what do you do, Karina? I am an accountant. Very good. What do you do, Julio? I am a marketing manager. Very good. What do you do, Carolina? I am a medical assistant. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Now we are going to continue with the next exercise, okay? In the next exercise, we have a conversation. This conversation is on your module on page 11. Está en la página 11 de su libro, por si, por si no alcanzan a ver desde ahí, lo tenemos aquí. Right? I want you to go ahead and pay attention to me, okay? I will read the conversation. So, listen to me. Listen to me. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos. And they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No. I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay. I am going to repeat again, okay? Voy a repetir la conversación. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay. Now, I want two people to help me. Julio, you are going to be Romeo. Okay. okay, Joanna, you are going to be Mary. And let's see here, uh, Nimian, you are going to be Rodrigo. Okay, so let's start. Good morning, I am Miss Mary Garcia. I am the new secretary, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome, we are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Yes, we are not from the same department, but we are college. Thank you so much for the information. Very good job. Very, very good job. Excellent job here. Now, just one word that we're going to repeat here, right? Colleagues, right? Let me see, let me put it here. Colleagues, colleagues, repeat with me, colleagues. 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 For example, Colleagues. Colleagues. for example, Claudia, are you a teacher? 
Are you a teacher, yes. Claudia? Okay. Yes, I am teacher. Claudia is my colleague. I am a teacher too. Right? So she is my colleague. Right. Joanna, are you a secretary? Yes, I am. Okay, very good. And I think Joanna is a secretary. Who is a secretary to? Vilma, are you a secretary? I'm not a secretary. Okay. I so am not. You are not Joanna's colleague. Okay. Jessica, are you a secretary? No, I am not. <gasps> Nimiam, are you a secretary? <laughs> Are you I, am, I am not. <laughs> no tiene colegio. I am not secretary. Okay. Who is a secretary here? <laughs> Nobody? Only Joanna? Yo vi que alguien dijo que era secretaria aparte de Joanna. Me están mintiendo. Karina, are you a secretary? Not teacher. I am not. Santo padre. Okay, good. So, Joanna, you don't have colleagues in the class. Okay. I, I have a colleague, right? Claudia is my colleague. She is a teacher. I am a teacher, right? So I noticed here there was Ivan is an assistant, right? Ivan? Yes. Okay. Ivan is an assistant. Yes. Who is an yes. assistant? Yes. Very good. Who is an assistant? Nimian. So Ivan, Nimian is your colleague. Right? She is an assistant too. No importa si no trabaja en el, en, la misma, en el mismo lugar, pero tienen la misma profesión. Right? Okay. So you are colleagues. You are the same. Very good. Now, so we have this colleague, right? We're going to also practice this word department. Repeat department. Department. Very department. good. Department. Quality. Department. Quality. 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 Managers. 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 Very good. Information. 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 Okay. Very good. So now I want two more people to practice this with me. I want Dennis, you're going to be Romeo, okay? Vilma, you'll be Mary, and Emerson, you'll be Rodrigo, okay? So Dennis, Vilma, and Emerson. Let's listen. Dennis? Vilma, Mary. ¿Qué es eso, Vilma? Okay. Vilma, you are Mary. No, Emerson. Good morning. Vilma es Mary. ¿Usted es Rodrigo? No, él era Romeo, yo era Rodrigo. Vilma. Good morning. Good morning. I am Miss Mary García. And the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from Quality Department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we are from the same department, uh, but we are college. Thank you so much for the information. Very good, very good. Repeat with me, colleagues. 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 Very good. Colleagues. Now, department. Department. 
department 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 very good department now i want three volunteers necesito tres voluntarios pueden levantar la mano ahí en zoom okay eh, joana karina and only joana karina i need one more carolina okay okay joana you are going to be uh, Mary, no, you're going to be Romeo. Okay, Carolina, you're going to be Mary. And Karina, you are going to be Rodrigo. Okay, very good. Let's just start. Good morning. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romero Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I'm not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we are from the same department, but we are the college. Thank you so much for the information. Very good. Thank you so much for the information. Karina, repeat. Colleagues. 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 Very good. Very good. No, it's colleagues. Oigan, it's colleagues. Good. Colleagues. Very good. Now, we're going to continue working here with this conversation, right? We are on page 11, estamos en la página 11, and there is one exercise in la misma página que tenemos acá. It says, Rodrigo and Luis, we need to use the verb to be to answer these four questions, okay? Ya lo vamos a trabajar. Lo vamos a trabajar en lo que yo paso la lista. En la página 11, vamos a utilizar el verbo to be para completar estos espacios en blanco. ¿Ok? Let's go ahead and start. Mientras ustedes trabajan en su libro, porque ya lo tienen. Todos se dan acá el libro, ¿verdad? El libro de la clase, ¿a nadie le falta? Yo no lo tengo. Yo. Usted no lo tiene. ¿No está en el grupo de WhatsApp? No. No. Ok. Le voy a poner acá mi número para que me escriba. ¿Cuál es mi número? Okay, very good. Ahí está. Eh, Vilma también, porque ayer se me fue y ya no le pude preguntar nada. Okay. Now. Gracias. You're welcome. Now that we have that, I am going to call the attendance. Yo paso la asistencia y ustedes trabajan en su equipo. Let's just start. Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Present. Brenda Iris Camilla Pérez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Claudia Ivette Samayua Castro. Present. Carolina Yamilet Hernández Lata Verde. Present. Thank you. Uh, Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Present, teacher. Very good. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortez. Present. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mengíbar. Present. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Very good. Iván Ernesto Elías. Present. Very good. Jessica Rosmerio Almedo Fuentes. Present. Johalmo Alexis Ochoa Rivera. Okay. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present. 
Karina Melissa Estrada Aldana. Present. Very good. Milton Linares Molina. Nelson Iván Alfaro Flores. Present. Nimi Elizabeth León de Estrada. Present. Samuel Antonio Valencia. Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Very good. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present. Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Okay, muy bien. So we have the tenants. Do we finish right now with the exercise? Yes, no, maybe. Maybe. Terminamos? Yes, maybe. <laughs> Very good. Okay, I'm no. just going to send right now the book to Miss Melissa. Solo a Melissa le hace falta el libro? Yo no lo tengo. ¿Quién es usted? Heriberto. Heriberto. Heriberto está en el grupo de, de, sí, sí, sí. de WhatsApp. Oh, ok, sí. ya lo vamos a reenviar aquí. Yo no lo tengo. ¿Quién es yo? ¿Está en el Vila. grupo de WhatsApp? Hoy, hoy me pude agregar. Ok, perfecto. Ahorita lo voy a reenviar acá. Ok. Ok, ya está ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp a los que les hacía falta. Y eh, Melissa, mañana me escribe para que la agreguemos al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ok. Pues déjeme ver si le envío el link en estos momentos. Un momento. Ya le aviso. Trate de usar ese link, ese link que le acabo de enviar para agregarse al grupo, por favor. Ok. En The Others, todos los demás ya estamos en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Nadie está afuera. Sí. Asumo que sí, porque no oigo respuesta. Ok. Let's continue here. What's the answer here that you have for... Number one, Rodrigo and Luis. Jenny Carolina, what's the answer? Rodrigo and Luis are marketing manager. Rodrigo and Luis are marketing managers. Okay, very good. Are marketing managers. Very good. Number two, please give me the answer. Uh, Brenda, Romeo and Rodrigo. Romeo and Rodrigo are from the same department. They are from the same department. Is this correct, guys? No. No, right? What, what is the conversation? What, what does the conversation say? They aren't from the same department. Very good. Uh, they aren't from the same department. Excellent. Tell me here, Claudia Ivet, number three. We are colleagues. We are colleagues, right? Very good. We are colleagues. Very good. And number four, please tell me the answer for number four. Eh, Nelson Iván. Ay, no, no, no. No. <ríe> don't worry, don't worry. Aquí trabaja un equipo. Alguien más le va a ayudar. No se preocupe. And let's see. Jessica is going to help you. Jessica. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, are, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. they are 
Very good. They are in the same company. They are in the same company. Excellent, very good. Emerson, what's your question or comment? <laughs> okay, Emerson, can you please read sentence number one and two? Por favor, lea las, la, los ejemplos uno y dos. Rodrigo and Luis are marketing managers. Mm -hmm. Two, Romeo and Rodrigo aren't from the same de de department. Department, okay, very department. good. Department. Number three and four, Ana Daisy. Can you please read three and four? Sure. We are colleagues. Colleagues. They are college. Colleagues. Colleagues. No. They are, pardon? They, we are colleagues. We are college. No, no es college. No. Okay. Colleagues. 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 Very good. We are colleagues. Repeat again. We are colleagues. Very good. Excellent. Number four. They are in the same company. They are in the same company. Very good. Very good. Now we have these examples, right? Do you have a question about this? Tiene alguna pregunta? Do you have a question? No questions? No, no, Joanna says no. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. So we're going to continue here with the next exercise. In the next exercise, we are going to see affirmative and negative statements. But now we have different subjects. Look at the subjects that we have on here. What are the subjects? We have we. Right. Let me show you. We have we, you, and they. Yesterday, we practiced with I, you, she, it, but in singular. Today, we are practicing plurals, right? Plural statements, right? Plural statements. So how can I make a question when we have we, for example, we are Irene and Cindy, right? Or we can say, we are in the class right now, right? We are in the class. We are students from Inglés Corporativo. Right? You are managers, your managers. They are colleagues, their colleagues. In negatives, we are not Irene and Cindy. We're not Irene and Cindy. So what are we going to do? With these plurals, plural, it means that is more than one, right? More than one, más de uno. Plural significa que es más de uno, more than one. ¿Cuántos? No se sabe, es más que uno. Right, that's the plural. Singular means only one, right? Singular means only one. Do we understand this part? Yes. Yes, okay. For example, if we say uh, Claudia and Sylvia, right? I am a teacher, she is a teacher. We are teachers, okay? We are teachers. Nosotras somos profesoras. We are teachers. Okay. Y luego Iván quiere hablar de nosotras y dice, oh, they, they are teachers. They are teachers. Está hablando de otras personas en plural. Okay. They are teachers. Who? Silvia and Claudia. Right. Is that part clear? ¿Se entiende esa parte? 
Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Very good. Now, how can I make an example with the information that we already have? How can I make one example? Con la información que ya tenemos with I, you, he, she, it, ¿cuál sería un ejemplo que podemos crear? Aquí ya nos da ejemplos el, el libro, pero nosotros ya hicimos un montón de ejemplos al inicio. ¿Cómo podemos hacer es que esos ejemplos se transfieran al plural? Porque ya los hicimos en singular. What can I do? Está hablando de lo de ayer. No, ya estoy hablando de lo de hoy. Hoy en la clase trabajamos con singular. ¿okay? Al inicio de la clase. Ahora estamos trabajando con plural. ¿okay? En el plural, la fórmula va a ser la misma. ¿Cuál era la fórmula que se utiliza con el verbo eh, be? ¿Cuál es la fórmula? No. Sujeto. Subject. Subject. Plus. Subject plus. Verb. Complement. Plus complement. Plus complement. Okay. Subject plus verb plus complement. Acá es exactamente lo mismo. Lo único que ya el sujeto ya no es singular. Es plural. Eso no cambia nada en la estructura de la fórmula que tuvimos ayer. Subject for complement. Ok. Si yo tengo el subject. They. How can I make a sentence in affirmative? Julio Carlos. Oh, Emerson. Emerson? Uh -huh. ¿Usted podría decirme o, o repetirme la forma contractual de, de you? you? Your. Your. Contractada. Yes, yes. your. Perfect. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. So, Julio Carlos, what could be an affirmative example with the verb And use the subject. Day. Uy, se quedó trabado, Juan Pablo. Hola, Brenda. <laughs> okay. Who, who has the answer? ¿Quién tiene Hola, la idea? Perdón. Uh -huh. no, no pude escuchar. Okay. Julio Carlos. Tell me an example in affirmative using the structure that we used yesterday, the same formula, subject plus verb plus complement. But now the subject is plural, use they. Okay. Uh -huh. They are um, Salvadorians. They are Salvadorans, very good. They are Salvadorans, excellent. They are Salvadoran. Okay. Now, what if I want to use they, Joanna, and I want to also use um, the word truck driver? How can I make a sentence with the verb be? They are truck drivers. They are truck drivers. Very good. They are truck drivers. They are Salvadorans. Very good. Now tell me a sentence, Ivan Ernesto. Uh, they are mechanic. What? Uh, they are mechanic. They are mechanics, excellent. They are mechanics. Very good. Tell me another sentence, Carlos Roberto. They are fire workers. They are fire workers. Yes, we need fire workers. Very good. They are fire workers or firefighters. Firefighters, bomberos. Okay. Uh, Jessica, tell me a sentence with we. Están viendo el chat, verdad? Están viendo el chat? Ahí estoy poniendo las respuestas en el chat. Yes. Yes. Okay. Jessica, with we. No. 
we are a teacher. We are teachers, okay? We are teachers. Very good. We are teachers. Nelson, tell me another example with we. We are the best. What? We are the best students. Okay. Write in the chat, please. Escriban en el chat que no le escucho la última parte. Ok, no, no le escucho, eh, Nelson. Lo siento mucho. Ok. Sí. Ok. Iván, tell me an example with uh, yes. you. Ok. I mean, afirman. We uh, are students. You are. Uh -huh. Ok. You are students. You are students, ok. Ah, pero si ya lo dijo Nelson. Dígame otro, dígame otro. Ah, ok. Uh, you are accountant. You are accountants, very good. Accountants, repeat. Accountants. Accountant. Very good. So we have there, right, the different examples, right, that we have with affirmative forms. Now, what could be the negatives? Not contracted, the negative long form. What is it? Escriban sus ejemplos en el chat. I want to see your examples in the chat. Escriban sus ejemplos de negativos con esos sujetos que estamos viendo en el chat, por favor. Vamos a verlos. Okay, let's see the examples. Let's see the examples we have. Okay. We are not Nayib Bukele. No, gracias a Dios. You are not doctors. You are not students. You are not soccer players. We are not a policeman. We are not doctors. We are not truck drivers. They are not Salvadorans. Hoy are not accountant. No se entiende, Iván. Hoy are not accountant, dice. No, ok. They are este not pilots. Mi teléfono me corrige, le da errores. You are in the English class. Yes, I am. We are not nurses. And they aren't managers. Very good. Very good. Now, what are we going to do with this? Right, now that we have this explanation, we are going to see something else here with the, with the use of the verb be and the use of a and an. Okay, the use of a and an. You are not accountants. Very good. Now, ayer me preguntaba Nimia. Very good. Can you see my white screen? Yes. Okay. I have yes. a, and I am going to have an, okay, a and an. That's what we're going to do at this moment, right? The use of a and an. Right here, okay. That's what we're going to practice. A and and. So when are going to, when are we going to use a and and? It's going to be very simple. Right? How we are going to use it? Oh, I have more examples. They are not children. See, they are not children. 
Mary and Jose are not truck drivers. Truck drivers, they are not police, okay. Now, we have the examples here with a and and. A and and se van a utilizar solamente para singulars. ¿Cuáles eran los singulars que hablamos ayer? ¿Cuáles eran los singulars? Subjects que son singulars. I, you, he, she. I, you, he, she. Ok, very good. Esos eran singulares. He, she, and it. Very good. With these singulars that we have here, right? Sorry. Oh my God. Give me a moment. Okay, with these singulars that we have here, right? This is singulars for the subjects, okay? Pero también tenemos nouns que son singulars, okay? Singular nouns. Let me put them here. Oops. Singular nouns. ¿Cuáles son los nouns? Los nouns son todas aquellas cosas sustantivos que se pueden nombrar, ¿ok? Notebook, marker, mom, scissors, keys. Everything is a noun. ¿Okay? Todo lo que se puede nombrar es un noun o un sustantivo, ¿ok? That's very important to remember. Everything or everyone that can be named. Right? Todo lo que se puede nombrar sería un sustantivo. Right? So if we have how many notebooks? One notebook. One. Come. One come. Cell phone one cell phone, right? Flash drive, one flash drive. ¿Qué quiere decir aquí? Vamos a utilizar a y an solo para singulares, ¿ok? Solo para nombres singulares o sustantivos singulares. Por eso es que ayer decíamos, she is an engineer, ¿ok? She is an engineer. ¿Qué pasa acá? Ya, okay, ya tenemos los singulares. ¿Se entiende hasta el momento de lo, que, de lo que estamos hablando? ¿Sí se entiende de lo que estamos hablando? Yes. 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 Ok, very good. Yes. Now, we're going to continue working here, right, with this. Right. Para eso vamos a utilizar esos A en A. Luego tenemos a and and, lo vamos a bajar acá, y esto lo vamos a poner arribita, ok, para que se nos vea mejor de nadie. Okay. Why do we use a and and? Ok, los tenemos acá. A and and are going to be used, right, with all the nouns, singular nouns. Okay, so if I have, for example, here a noun, it will depend on the sound, depende del sonido. If the sound of the noun starts with a vowel, right, then it's going to be an. If the sound of the noun sounds as a consonant, right, we are going to use a, right, for example. If I have here, right, simple, le voy a poner cosas eh, bien, bien eh, pequeñitas, okay? We have book. Sorry. We have book, right? A book that is going to be here, okay? A book. Now, what is this? Oh, Come on, computer. I'm having chickens. Okay, we have book, a book, a book. And then we have an apple, an apple. Si el sonido empieza con consonante, B, 
right? Vamos a utilizar A. No con la letra, sino que con el sonido de consonante vamos a utilizar A. Si, comi si comienza con un sonido de vocal, comienza, utilizamos an. An, apple. ¿Ok? Entonces veamos el siguiente. Tengo acá the word. La voy a poner en medio. Ustedes me dicen dónde ponerla. Lemon. Lemon. ¿Con qué sonido empieza? ¿Con un sonido de vocal o un sonido de consonante? Consonante. 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 So we put it here, right? La izquierda. A lemon. Very good. A lemon. Then I have the word, or I have the phrase, truck driver. Truck driver. Izquierda. Again? Okay. Very good. A truck driver. Very good. Then I have the word. Mm, okay, okay. Very good. I have orange. Orange. Derecha. Okay. And orange. And orange. Orange. Very good. And if I have, for example, engineer. Derecha. An okay. engineer. Okay. An engineer. An engineer. Listen to this. Uniform. An uniform. Uniform. Mm -hmm. uniform. And uniform. And uniform. And uniform. And uniform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Escuchen cómo se pronuncia. Uniform. No, you. You. So the pronunciation of this at the beginning is like this. Uniform. 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 You. You. No es you. Listen. Listen. Uniform. Listen. It's not you. No, no puede ser con, eh, vocal porque en inglés, uniform. right? Decimos you, j, uniform, right? So, por el sonido. Uniform, por el sonido. A, a uniform. That's a uniform, a uniform. Very mm -hmm. good. Lo vamos a poner acá, ¿ok? Entonces ya no vamos a decir you, vamos a decir you. Okay. Uniform. Ahora tenemos este otro sonido. MP3. MP3. A la derecha. MP3. MP3. And MP3. A la derecha. Exactly. And MP3. Porque el sonido de esta comienza con vocal. M. P3. Very good, very good. Si entendemos hoy que el uso de estos dos es solamente para singulares y se utiliza con base en el sonido del sustantivo. Yes. 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 Do you have questions about this? Tienen preguntas acerca de esto? Yo sé que es nuevo, así que pregunten por favor. Otro ejemplo. Another example. Okay. Yes. Otro ejemplo que empiece. Uh, insect. Insect. To the left or to the right? Left and or right? Insect. And, and insect. insect. And insect. And insect. Very good. And insect. Excellent. And insect. Very good. Now, let me show you here another compound noun, right? Okay, listen to this. Okay. I'm gonna put this one. Ahí está. Ponga la cámara está aquí. Y este, le hago la mano. Emerson, microphone. Okay, hour. Hour. 
Hour. Hour. Oh, hour. 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 Hours or hours? No. Hour. No, dije hours. Hours estoy tomando. Hour. Hour. And, and hour. hour. What, Carolina? And hour. An hour. Excellent job. Excellent job. An hour. An insect. An MP3. Very good. So this, this is how we can make the examples, okay? So if I have, for example, notebook. What could be notebook? Notebook is here or here? Notebook. A, a notebook. A notebook. A notebook, very good. A notebook. A notebook. A notebook. Flash drive. Mm -hmm. A flash drive. A flash drive. Very good. A flash drive. Excellent job. Excellent job. Questions about this? No questions. No questions. Okay. Very good. So let's continue then. If we will have, if we don't have questions, copiaron esta información? Ahora no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Puedo continuar con la clase? Yes. yes, okay, so let's continue yes. then with the class. Right now, we are going to do one easy exercise that we have here in page number 12. On page number 12, we have six sentences, right, in which we are using plurals, right? We are not going to use a and an. Recuerden que aquí ya no utilizamos, cuando usamos plurales, ya no utilizamos a and an, okay? So we're going to use plurals, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to use the verb be for each one of the sentences. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta del verb be de cada una de estas oraciones, okay? Let's go ahead and work that individually in the groups. Okay. Trabajemos de forma individual en el grupo que nos corresponde, por favor. En el, en el libro, página 12, page number 12. Let's do it individually y ya lo vamos a comparar. We're going to do that. I think a couple of minutes will be fine. Did you finish? Did you terminate? Teacher. Yes? En todas son R. O no. Possibly, we're going to check that in a moment. Okay, did you finish? Terminaron? Yes? Easy, right? Yes. No okay, now let's see the pronunciation for each one of them, right? So we can practice here, right? Enciendan su cámara, por favor. Thank you very much. Now, Jenny, go ahead and do number one. They, 
they are they are what number one yes they are what what is the palabra que está en paréntesis receptionist receptionist very good they are receptionist repeat reception reception they are receptionists. They are receptionists. Very good. Number two. Please share with me. Let's see. You. Yes, Jenny. You, okay. You, you are not super supervisor. You are not supervisors. You are not supervisors. Very well. You are not supervisors. Excellent. Number three, Ivan. Okay. Susana and Marcos, not police. Susana and Marcos? Repeat. Not colleagues. Not colleagues. Okay. What is missing there, Not Ivan? Police. ¿Qué le hace falta su respuesta, Ivan? Uh, Susana y Marcos? No. What? The verb uh, uh. El verbi. Ah. Ajá. ¿Cuál es el verbi que le hace falta, Iván? Ah. Who wants to help Iván? Ah. Yes, Brenda. Ah. Ar. Ah. Ar. Dígame la respuesta. No, ar. Ah. O no, ar. Ah. Not are, okay. Uh, Marcos, not are, please. Okay, Ivan, por favor, vaya su, a sus notas. Vaya a sus notas, por favor. Okay. Okay, y me revisa, por favor, la fórmula sí. de la estructura negativa. ¿Cuál es el orden? Are not. Okay, very good. Okay. Are not colleagues. Are not colleagues. Very good. Susana and Marcos are not okay. colleagues. Right? Very good. Carolina. Please. Thank you, Ivan. Number four, Carolina. We are. Okay. We are accounts. We are accountants. Repeat. Uh -huh. Accountants. We are accountants. Accountants. We are accountants. Accountants, very good. Excellent job. We are accountants. Number five, please re help me out, Emerson. Number five. We are, we are Carla and Sandra, no? We are Carla and Sandra, yes, very good. That is correct. We are Carla and Sandra. And number six, Fernando. Fernando. Yeah. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco, ¿me escucha? Ah, ok, ok, ok. Es que pensé que era otro Fernando. <risa> eh. Ok, they. En six. Yes. They are Mr. Herrera and Miss Mejía. Ok, they are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejía. Okay, repeat. They are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejía. They are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejia. Very good, very good. Now, 
Do you have the same answers? Do you copy the answers now? Copiar las respuestas? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. ¿Tienen preguntas? Do you have a question? No. ¿Tienen preguntas? No. No? no question, teacher. No. Okay, everything is clear. Okay, very good. If everything is clear, now let's go ahead and continue working. We have like seven minutes to do the next activity only. Seven minutes, okay? In these seven minutes, we're gonna do this, right? It's a small conversation that we can make, right? Using the information that we know, right? If I say, hello, I am Sylvia. Hi, nice to meet you. We, this is an example, right? We are uh, teachers. Okay, okay, we are, I can say, we are Claudia and Sylvia. We are teachers. Really, I'm an engineer, right? And then here you can put more information about that conversation, okay? Este es un ejemplo que podemos poner Por ejemplo, acá. Aquí. Hello, I am Sylvia. Hi, nice to meet you. We are, we are doctors. Okay, we are, uh, let's see, Ivan and Julio, right? We are Ivan and Julio. Okay, we are. Doctors, right? We are doctors. Really, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher, okay? What other information can Julio right, ask me? ¿Qué otra información me pueden preguntar acá? Y ese es un ejemplo de mi conversación. What other question can they ask me? Con lo que hemos aprendido, ¿qué otra pregunta me pueden hacer aquí? Ya sea Julio y Iván. Uh -huh. ¿O qué podrían decir ellos acá? Really, I am a teacher. Uy. What? ¿Qué otra pregunta podría hacer en esa conversación, chicos? Yeah, well, you, you, you are calling, calling. Ah, okay. Very good. But eso sería aquí, right? ¿Qué me pueden preguntar ellos a mí, Nimian? Um, sí, oh, pero pero ser... oh, Joanna you, says, you, huh? are, oh. uh, you are calling. Okay. Pero ellos, ¿cómo me van a preguntar a mí si soy colegio, si yo soy teacher y ellos son doctores? Uh -huh. Yo. Joana says that they can ask me, how old are you? ¿Ya han escuchado esa frase? How old are you? Yeah. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old are you, Silvia? Oh, I am. Uh, I am 35 years old. Right? How old are you, Silvia? I am 35 years old. ¿Qué me puede preguntar aquí, Ivan? Uh, where are you from? Where are you from? Very good. Esa es otra pregunta. Where are you from? ¿Y ahí? Siguen ustedes con su creatividad. Oh, I am from Santa Ana. I am from San Miguel. I am from Cabañas, right? I am from New York City, right? It depends, right, where I am from. So this is what we're going to do tomorrow. Please take a screenshot for the example. Tome un ejemplo, un, una captura de pantalla del ejemplo, por favor. Uh, 
Okay. Thank you very much. ¿Ya tomaron la captura todos? Yes. yes. Okay, muy bien. Okay, so now we are going to stop there. Ya son las 9.57, 9.58 casi. Vamos a, voy, bueno, voy a pasar asistencia antes que se vayan. Y en este caso me quedo con Brenda Iris Escamilla Pérez. Ok. Ahora. Ok. Let's see here. Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Present. Brenda Iris Escamilla Pérez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Agente. Carolina Yamilet Hernández Larda Verde. Present. Claudia Ibet Samayoa Castro. Present. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Present teacher. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortez. Present. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mejiva. Present. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Iván Andrés Solías. Jessica Rosmerio Almedo Fuentes. Present. Johalmo Alexis Ochoa Rivera. Julio Carlos Martínez. Karina Melissa Salazar. Milton Linares Molina Nelson Iván Flores Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada Samuel Antonio Valencia Vilma Beatriz Márquez Presente Jennifer, no, Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado Present Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo Present Very good So that's the attendance for today guys I see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Por favor, trabajen en la tarea número 2. Completen los que no han completado las dos preguntitas que, se, que pusimos ayer en el, la discusión. Complétenlas hoy, por favor. ¿Ok? Creo que solo me la contestó Joana. Eh, Daisy, creo. Joana o Carolina. Una de las dos. ¿Ok? Entonces, los demás, por favor, vamos a completar esa tarea. Y I see you guys tomorrow at... 10 and at 8 p.m. Nos vemos. Bye bye. Have a beautiful I night. Bye. bye. I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good bye. Bye. See you, Carolina. See you, Nelson. See you, Heriberto. Ok. Hola, Brenda. Hola. Hola, hi. Nice to meet you. ¿Usted es el primer día que, se, que, se, eh, que está en clase o ya estuvo ayer? Ayer estuve. Ya estuvo ayer, ok. Solo una cosita, Brenda. Eh, hay que, cuando entrar a la clase, hay que poner el nombre completo. Porque veo que está... Con... No, es que fíjense que a mí, yo con los links me he logrado conectar, pero yo, yo la verdad es que esa aplicación me cuesta usarla. Uh -huh. No sé. Ahí en donde está, eh, cuando usted entra a la plataforma con el link, le va a pedir su nombre. Entonces, su nombre y su apellido. Ahí lo va a escribir completo. El nombre y el correo. ¿Mm? Nombre completo. Entonces, usted tiene que ponerle su nombre completo. No le ponga solamente Brenda Escamilla, sino que póngale su nombre completo como le aparece en el DUI, porque así le va a aparecer acá. Ah, ok. Ok para que así le aparezca. Si aún así no le aparece, usted lo que va a hacer es que ahorita, eh, cuando usted ve su cara, arriba en el lado post, eh, posterior derecho, hay una parte donde dice eh, deshabilitar micrófono y hay tres puntitos. Mira los tres puntitos. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí le va a salir un mini, audio, un mini menú. En ese mini menú le va a dar una opción que dice... Eh, renombrar o si lo tiene en inglés le va a decir rename entonces mm. cuando le dice cam o cambiar nombre cambiar nombre o renombrar le va a dar ahí sí, me parece tema de la reunión mostrar siempre los contactos de reunión retocar mi apariencia subtitulado mostrar el nombre de los participantes ah, no, pero eh, ahorita usted no, es, no le está dando eh, clic a la, a la 
a la aplicación, sino que encima de su cara, cuando usted tiene ahí su cara en la pantalla, encima hay tres puntitos. Ajá, en los tres puntitos. Configuración de la reunión. Uh -huh. No, esa no, esa no. Tiene que ser renombrar. No le aparece esa opción. Espérame. Renombrar. No, compártame, dice... su, compártame su pantalla. En la parte de abajo dice compartir pantalla. Ahorita. Compartir. Uh -huh. Pantalla. Ahí ya le aparece. No. Está en el teléfono, ¿verdad? Me aparece la pantalla apagada. Ok, sí. ahí sí ya. Oh, ahí. Ya le quité. <ríe> Hoy sí le aparece. Ay, que esto me cuesta. No se preocupe. Va a irse transmisión de pantalla. Uh -huh. Está cargando. Es que como mi teléfono tiene poca carga, ya solo el 2%. Por ciento, el... Oh, ok, ok, perfecto, entiendo. Entonces, Brenda, eh, bueno, en ese caso lo vamos a tener que cambiar cuando entremos al iniciar la uh -huh. sesión. Oiga, eh, siempre hay que recordarse eso por 15 por lo pide. Y no sé si tiene alguna pregunta en específico de la clase, algo que no haya entendido, o algo que quisiera preguntar en el momento, que no le haya quedado mm. claro. No, ahorita, o sea, lo mismo que me cuesta es la pronunciación a veces de las palabras. Mm. Pero de ahí, aunque, o sea, solo vi una hora, pero sí entiendo lo que vimos ahora en la clase. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, mm -hmm. formas de mejor, mejorar pronunciación. Eh, Brenda y de mejorar su inglés eh, por completo, por favor empiece a que su espacio sea con muchas palabras en inglés, por ejemplo vea televisión, si puede en inglés, pero con subtítulos eh, uh -huh. para que usted vaya identificando las palabras y las vaya asociando con el significado en, en español ¿Okay? después ya le puede ca ir cambiando los subtítulos a inglés para ir mejorando, uh -huh. ok, ah, música okay. en inglés ¿verdad? Si su música preferida es eh, eh, salsa, por decir algo, busque salsa en inglés o busque música en inglés que le va a ayudar. Mi consejo es no busque raps, no, mus, no busque hip hop, ¿verdad? busque música que vaya despacio para que usted vaya empezando a trabajar. También uh -huh. cuando usted escuche la música a través de las plataformas de video, lo que va a hacer es que va a buscar la letra de la canción en inglés para que usted la pueda escuchar y la vaya, usted la va a leer con su pronunciación, con errores, obviamente, pero como usted la va a ir leyendo, va a ir asociando la pronunciación que ellos hacen con lo que usted va leyendo y la va a ir repitiendo y eso le va a ayudar bastante para que usted vaya mejorando su pronunciación. Este es un proceso largo, ¿verdad? No creamos que vamos a parar, ya el otro mes vamos a salir bilingüe, porque no, ¿verdad? Pero sí, vamos a mejorar bastante, ¿ok? Mire, ¿cuánto tiempo dura el curso? Este curso se termina, eh, bueno, empezamos ayer, 12, ya les digo, se termina el 7 de mayo. Ah, ok. Sí, y luego empieza el curso 2. Uh -huh. ¿Y son cuántos? Eh, bueno, son 18 en total. 18 cursos en total. Y es bastante. Uh -huh. Sí, para sí bastante. Pero ahí depende también del participante si quiere eh, aprovechar su tiempo afuera, de, porque dos horas no es suficiente, ¿verdad? De eso estamos más que seguros. Siempre necesitamos más tiempo. Si usted practica fuera de la clase, va a ir mejorando mucho más que sus compañeros. Así que mi recomendación es que usted siempre eh, practique, ¿verdad? Afuera de la clase. Ah, ok. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Brenda, ¿alguna otra pregunta? No, solo que, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, hoy no me pude conectar a acabar a las 8 porque venía en camino para mi casa. 
porque yo soy contador, entonces ahorita estamos trabajando en cierre por el mes de abril. Entonces yo casi que, o sea, no me logro conectar cabal a las 8 porque a veces yo vengo llegando a tipo 8 y media, hoy vine a las 9, entonces a veces se me hace bastante difícil, por lo menos este mes, estar cabal a las 8. Y en lo que vengo, lo puedo activar para escuchar nada más. Sí, pero si puede, eh, si no es peligroso para usted, porque si viene en bus puede que sea peligroso uh -huh. que venga conectada en el teléfono, pero en la medida de lo posible, si lo puede hacer, es mejor que se conecte, ya que, bueno, de los requisitos de Insafor es que estemos en las clases, de que uh -huh. estemos conectadas. Si usted tiene menos del 80% de su asistencia, entonces es muy posible que no se le renueve el siguiente módulo. Ah, okay. Entonces tiene que estar eh, pendiente de estar siempre conectada, ¿verdad? Para que no haya ningún problema. Por ejemplo, me imagino yo que el 30 de abril va a tener un, un problema de, de no poder salir a tiempo con la clase, ¿verdad? Porque es el último día de... Por ejemplo, hoy salimos a las 8. Ya mañana creo que nos va a salir tipo 10. Tipo 10 de la noche. Y no se va mm. a poder conectar. O sea, sí puedo, pero estarlo escuchando desde mi oficina. Ok, pero, pero conéctese. Entonces, en ese caso, conéctese y al día siguiente, alrededor de las 10 de la mañana, se va a poner el video de la clase para que usted vaya viendo la información que hemos practicado. Y así, ah. cuando usted ya pueda venir a la clase y ya pueda ser de participante, usted participa, entra y se pone de voluntaria, si quiere, levante la mano cada rato, no importa, para uh -huh. que usted practique lo que ha escuchado. Ah, okay. Okay. Pero con tal de que esté en, eh, conectada, eso es lo importante. Ah, okay. va a estar que esté bien. conectada para que usted no vaya a perder el, el beneficio de la beca. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto, Brenda. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, algún otro inconveniente que tenga? No, ahorita solo eso. Con la conexión me cuesta un poquito, pero ahí todo está bien. Ok, Brenda. Entonces aquí le esperamos <risa> mañana, ¿verdad? Eh, conéctese y solamente me escribe que va a estar eh, de oyente en el WhatsApp. Y ya yo uh -huh. me voy a recordar. Y si yo le pregunto, no me acaso y vamos a seguir con los demás. ¿Ok? Va. Está bien, está. Perfecto, perfecto. Gracias, Brenda. Pase buena noche. Gracias, igual. Gracias. Descanse. Nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. Yes.